Again, hello. Welcome to Hattie Waiver Wire Guru. Getting ready to go to week nine. So, um, you know, it's going by quick. Got some more bye weeks to get through. So I got some really good picks for you this week. Start with the quarterbacks. He is a spot starter, but borderline grab. It's Christian Ponder. We talked about him last week. Definitely stepped up against Carolina Panthers. He looks like he's a competitor. He looks like he's throwing well, and he looks like he can put up numbers. So this would be a guy for Dynasty Leagues. I would definitely stash him if you have the room. And if you're really hurting during these bye weeks and need a quarterback, gamble on Ponder for sure. Let's move on to running backs. Grab Maurice Morris. He's definitely getting the load while Javid Best is out. If Best continues to stay out, Morris will stay in. Those concussions, multiple concussions, can take time and you need a lot of clearance from the NFL to get back in there. But buyer beware, if Best comes back, Maurice Morris's value plummets for sure. Um, so keep that in mind with that running back. Moving on to who I'm watching, watch Brandon Jacobs. The reason you want to watch Brandon Jacobs and maybe quickly grab him is if Ahmad Bradshaw is out uh, due to an ankle injury, then Brent Jacobs gets the lion's share, and that would be someone you definitely want to pick up. He doesn't have a great attitude right now, but that being aside, he still wants to showcase because he'll want to get picked up by a team. So Brandon Jacobs is a grab if Ahmad Bradshaw is out. But right now he's a watch because you have to watch Bradshaw's status. Anyways, moving on. Watch slash grab slash spot starter slash you never know what Shanahan has up his sleeve in Washington. It's a shard choice. He's gotten picked up by the Redskins. Terrain, Helu, all those guys. Eh. But Shanahan is looking for someone. I've seen the shard choice look really good in previous years at Dallas. He, he wasn't really meshing with Dallas, but now if he can step up and get focused, he could be a great starter for the Redskins. So I would go ahead and stash him, roster him right now. I probably wouldn't go out and start him, but you want to keep an eye on the shard choice. Moving on to spot starters, Javon Ringer. He's not going to be the starter for the Titans, but he is going to be in a running back by committee with the Titans, and he looked pretty good. So if you're looking for someone through the bye weeks and you're just looking for somebody and there's no one else on the waiver wire, Javon Ringer can be someone you can pick up um, and use. PPR leaks, he'll be fine there too. So Javon Ringer's a spot starter. The next spot starter is Chris now this last name is something, um, Obaniah. Sounds like something out of the Old Testament, but Chris Obaniah uh, from Cleveland. You got Hardesty out, you got Hillis day to day. He, if Hillis practices a lot, Obaniah will still get to play. So Obaniah will be somebody that, you know, I would definitely pick up this week. I'm targeting him in a lot of leagues right now. Uh, so take a look at Chris Obaniah. Moving on to wide receiver, grab Victor Cruz. Hakeem Nix may miss some time. Cruz steps up. As when Manningham was going through his thing, Cruz stepped up. When Hakeem Nix was going through his thing, Cruz stepped up. So if one of those two guys is out, Cruz, you have to start him. Moving on, your next grab is Antonio Brown. I've talked about this guy. He was a spot starter last week. I hope you played him. He played very well. Got a lot of targets, found the end zone. That's going to continue even when Heinz Ward comes back. Brown is someone you want to go ahead and grab. Moving on to watch. Watch Damian Williams and Titans. He can get fully healthy. That's a guy uh, that can produce, but he's only a watch right now. Moving on, Braylon Edwards. You want to watch Braylon Edwards. Got to play. Got four receptions. Looked okay. Uh, San Francisco's looking sharp. Crabtree's getting a lot of work there, too. That's something we've talked about in the past. So keep an eye on Braylon Edwards. You can roster him if you uh, have the space. But don't get ex too excited about him until he gets that scheme down and he's fully healthy and going and getting a couple weeks under his belt. Spot starter, Kevin Walter. If Andre Johnson is out again next week, Walter is definitely a spot starter. If Andre Johnson plays, just lower Walter's value. So that's someone to spot start if Andre Johnson's out. Tight end, grab Greg Olson. I was a little bit wrong about um, his situation. Greg Olson looks to be a little healthier. I thought he was dealing with turf toe and looking rough, and he wasn't really producing. But after this week, it's like, okay, he looks a little bit stronger. The injury doesn't seem to be hurting him as much. So Greg Olson was dropped in a lot of leagues. So you can go and pick that up. That's a good grab. And then spot starter, we've talked about before. I'm not going to belabor the point. Jake Ballard, getting the looks, not getting in the end zone, but somebody to use for bye weeks if you need that person. Jake Ballard is typically on waiver wires. That's it for week nine. If you have a question, it's facebook.com slash Hattie Waiver Wire Guru. 
put your question on Facebook. I'll answer it for sure. Um, I'm going to have weekly rankings out this week to help you set your rosters. Look for an article this week about deep sleepers to pick up. And that's it. Uh, that's week nine. Good luck. Good luck with the bye weeks. Keep winning.